lot of talk about Tank, Javante Tank Davis, man. Um, on who he's supposed to be fighting next. First, we're hearing this. It's going to be the rematch with Isak Cruz. I even heard Gary Russell Jr. was next. Then he had, then you know, Coach Calvin came out and tweeted something crazy. I mean, on on that podcast he was on and said that it's a real big fight coming with for Tank Davis, man. And everybody was trying to figure out who could it be. Monster Inoue? Could it be Keith Thurman? Could it be uh, um, Vasil Lomachenko? Tiafimo Lopez? More than likely, if it's not Isak Cruz, I think it's going to be Isak Cruz. I even heard now Ryan Garcia want to rematch with him now, man. I'll probably talk about that in another video, man. But in, more than likely, it'll probably be Tiafimo Lopez. If it's so called a big fight, so they say, it'd probably be Tio. Maybe Tio, man. If if it's an Esau Cruz, I I have no I mean I lost all respect for, for Team Tank at that point. It better not be an Esau Cruz. There's no way in hell that's a big fight. But to each his own, man. But the question is, man, it's always been Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson and, and Devin Haney, man, right? And I'm all, I'm under the impression that I don't think he's ever gonna fight these dudes, man. And if he does, I'll be I'll be surprised. But recently, I'm hearing Javante Tank Davis and them say they want to smoke with Dev. But I'm just like, bro, why he always say that when Dev already tied up in a fight, though, bro? Why? Tank been out for like what a month and some change. The fight at first, I mean, they were talks of Dev fighting Regis. Why all of a sudden now that this shit is set in stone and all of that, Tank all of a sudden he like he want to smoke with Dev. All right, after December 9th, let's see what happened with that. But the question is always arises, man. We always wonder how can Tank Davis beat Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney? And a lot of people would say he can beat Devin Haney before he can beat a Shakur Stevenson. And I probably um I agree to a certain point. Um, I kind of feel different about it when you when you look at it because Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson's styles is different. Devin Haney is much more of an elusive fighter. Like, he moves around more than Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is more of a... He'll play on his feet and sit there with you a little bit more. And I think Shakur Stevenson has more punching power than, than Devin. Now, at 140... Now, Devin might be a, 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 a black horse when it comes to his power. I've been telling y'all, we don't know yet. We'll see how he fights Regis. What happens, I think he's going to hurt Regis. I know a lot of y'all, he ain't got no power. Oh, hey, man, maybe he just generally don't have power. Maybe the weight cut was affecting his power. Mickey Bay has said a while ago that Devin Haney does have punching power. He just don't sit on his punches. And some people even say he don't. he doesn't. he doesn't punch correctly. I just I made a video a while ago and I said his leg placement is a little odd too. A lot of you know your, your power also the way you stand and, gen, and and turn your body that that helps generate punching power too. But Devin Haney could be a dark horse, man. He might fuck around and and knock Regis out. And it, it has happened, man. This I'm gonna say this again. This is boxing. I know that's not the likely outcome. But if I was y'all, I would put some money on a knockout. If Devin Haney gets that knockout, thank me if y'all put money on him for a knockout because he's, he, he's going to win y'all a whole boatload of money. Send your boy Rebel a little something, something. Just saying. But anyway. Devin Haney's elusiveness could help him elude getting knocked out by Tank. But... He doesn't have the defense that Shakur has at the same time. Shakur Stevenson will sit in the pocket a little bit more with Tank. That can cause him to probably get knocked out, right? That's what people would say. But then at the same time, Shakur's defense is much better than Devin Haney's. And Shakur's inside game is better than Devin Haney's, hands down. That's why I call Shakur more of a dog. Shakur to me, would land more leather on Tank than Devin will. Because Shakur, I think, is going to actually probably sit there a little bit more and fight. All right? And I think, I told y'all, I think Devin will stop Tank by, by like, a technical knockout where his eye will get shut out, 
shut his eye will get shut up um from that jab why do i say this a lot man because that leo saying the Cruz fight showed me a lot now i know y'all gonna say yo triangle theories don't work in some cases man you can get stuff from other fights and and kind of like compare it to other dudes all right leo santa cruz was able first of all he's he put a mouse under under the eye of devin hay of under the eye of tank davis tank didn't respect his power but leo santa cruz was laying the leather on him leo santa cruz doesn't really have footwork like shakur or devin haney leo was pretty much just, just he's a he's gonna stand there he's gonna be there for you to fight all night long Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney are not. Shakur Stevenson and Devin, their IQ is significantly better than Tank than uh, Leo Santa Cruz. And you saw Leo kept throwing that same punch and Tank was timing it and Tank was paying attention to it. And and you saw he thought Tank was going he thought Tank was going to his body. Leo kind of dipped to trying to deflect the punch to the body. The whole time Tank swung that left around. And wham, bam, lights out Leo Santa Cruz. I saw it. I know a lot of y'all seen it coming. I was watching it. I'm like, yo, Leo, stop throwing that fucking jab, dude. He's timing. It's only, I said, it's a matter of time before he get knocked out. I said that. That's not going to happen with Shakur or even Devin Haney, man. Now, in Devin Haney's case, a lot of people say Devin like the hold and duck. He does do that a lot. He, you know, if you let him, he'll hold and, and he'll punch get low grab that might frustrate tank or tank might uh that might work in tank's favor tank might catch devin with an uppercut and put him to sleep that's a possibility this is why i said i think shakur stevenson even though i think devin might stop tank with to the uh with a, with a like closing his eye um i still think shakur beats him I, I think both of them beat Tank Davis, bro. I think both of them beat him in different ways. I think Shakur is going to frustrate Tank and beat him up for 12 rounds. And and, and I think Tank, Shakur going to have to be really surgical with it because you don't want to get clipped, you know, by certain things by Tank Davis. Let me say another thing. Let me throw that in there too, man. Why do everybody think Tank Davis is this mythical puncher, man? If you watch the Leo Santa Cruz fight, he cracked Leo with that same left early on in the fight. Leo didn't even fall. I never saw Leo wobble at all that whole fight until that knockdown, that knockout. So either that means Leo Santa Cruz got a hell of a chin, his chin is better than Shakur's and Devin's, or it just mean that tank power is just overrated, bro. You hear people say all the time, yo, Tank can punch. He can punch. He punched like a light heavyweight. Well, I'm going to say this one more time for the Tank fans. If Tank Davis could punch, like, if he punches like a light heavyweight, how come he got a weight drain certain fighters? Why was he scared to fight Ryan Garcia? Why did he say Ryan Garcia was too big? If you punch like a light heavyweight and you hurting all these, these heavyweights and sparring and all of this stuff, you telling me you're going to have a problem knocking out little old Ryan Garcia? You gonna have a problem knocking out little old Mario Barrios? Come on, man. Make that make sense to me. I, I, yo, the math ain't mathing, homie. It's not. The math ain't mathing, man. <sighs> but in conclusion, um, I think the reason he hasn't fought those two yet is because he sparred both of them, and he saw something in there that he didn't like when he was sparring both of them, rather it be Shakur or Devin. I don't care about Tank almost knocking out Devin like they said, but it almost ain't good enough. He didn't. They all, all three of them know each other by sparring. They, You can say what you want about sparring. That gives you a good look of your opponent. They sparred Tank. Tank sparred them. They know some things about each other, about each other's game already. All three of them. And they all have gotten significantly better. But I'm here to tell y'all now, man. There's a reason why he hasn't fought Devin Haney yet. There's a reason he hasn't fought Shakur, especially Devin. They, he had ample, it was ample opportunities for him to fight Devin Haney. He, he was at the division for how long with Devin? They didn't fight. Why not? 
Why was Floyd always talking about him fighting Teofimo Lopez and all that? Devin is there with the belts. What happened? Come on, man. I mean, y'all Tank fans, y'all can't be that fucking delusional, man. Y'all gotta... Y'all don't see it? I mean, the, the proof is in the pudding, baby. I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, I want to know what y'all think about this, man. You think Tank Dave, Javante Tank Davis beats Devin Haney and Shakur? Or does he beat Shakur and he doesn't beat Devin? Or he beats Shakur, or he beats Devin doesn't beat Shakur? Or um, they both beat him? It's Rebel Life Boxing. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. And I'm out.